Good evening, everyone. We begin tonight with new information about two suspicious deaths. In a moment, we will hear from the heartbroken daughter of a missing woman whose body has now been found on the bank of the St. John River. First, to the shocking execution-style killing of a man whose body was dumped at the side of a road outside Dartmouth. Tonight, the police say the man is James Alexander Sandy Lyle, and they say there is no doubt he was murdered. Police are still on the scene at this Dartmouth home more than 24 hours after one of the owners was murdered. The autopsy determined that he did die of a gunshot wound and that a firearm has been recovered. The body of 55-year-old James Alexander Lyle, known as Sandy, was dumped on the side of the road in Montague Gold Mines, a community just outside of Dartmouth. He was found Sunday night. Sources say he was shot in the back of the head. Court documents show Lyle had many run-ins with police over the years. Provincial records show a conviction related to marijuana possession in 2003. And sources say he was investigated during a major police sweep called Operation Hammer back in 2001. He was picked up along with members of the Halifax's Hells Angels. Police say when they searched this home behind me in Dartmouth, they found no evidence of drugs. The home is owned by Sandy Lyle and Carla Balsor. The two also owned and operated the rodeo lounge in their home community. No one at the bar was willing to talk today. Last year, police investigated a shooting at the rodeo lounge. Neighbors say Lyle owned a Harley and worked long hours. No suspects have been arrested in Sandy Lyle's death. 